So the space that the Galerie d'Apollon is in now is actually was originally the, called the Petit Galerie. It was the first place that the collection of Louis XIV arrived. So in this room, it was actually covered with um, all of the paintings that he had been collecting, a, a bunch of the different Italian masters. Until 1661, when there was a bad fire and destroyed every single painting in here, but one painting that I'll have to show you, I'll link to here, um, of Marie de Medicis. She is the only one that survived. It was all um, a lot of paintings of the different nobility, Italian masters, but it filled this room. So after the fire, Charles Lebrun was given the task to redo the room as the first painter to the king. He wanted to do the entire room fitting in honor to the Sun King. So there is a lot of gold. He liked to think of himself also as Apollo. So he, that is why they named it the Galerie d'Apollon. But in the very center, one of my favorite things is this amazing painting by Eugène Delacroix. He wanted so badly to be in the Louvre, but at the time, you could only be in the Louvre if you had been dead for 10 years. So he found a way to get into the Louvre while he was still alive and had painted the ceiling. And was that was a big thing for Delacroix. He was really big into paintings in churches and uh, the city hall, the Hotel de Ville, which most of those all were destroyed, but quite a few different buildings in Paris have big, huge monumental paintings of Delacroix because he thought that was a great way to have a lasting impression on after he's gone. So they just re, re they just re um, renovated this room. They just reopened it just actually a few weeks ago, and they did an amazing job. They actually seemed to do it pretty quickly. I think it was only closed for a year, which in Francis, that's pretty quick, especially with they, all of the murals around the room are of all different. There's Charles Le Bon right there. There's Louis the Fourteenth. Uh, oh, I think I see my other favorite. Um, he, they uh, did a great job with. Complete. Oh, there he is, Henri Gat. They did a great job. Um, completely updating these. So many of these paintings on the side were faded. You couldn't really see anything. Now you can see all of them, you can see the names. It's a beautiful job. Up also on the top there is all of the, there's months. So they have September, and then they have um, all of the different astrological signs. So there's Libra, Scorpio, all going back to the sun and the sky. But this was also one of the neatest things I think about this room is this room actually predates the Hall of Mirrors at Versailles. So when it was finished, Louis loved it so much that he, it was the basis of the Hall of Mirrors at Versailles, which you definitely get that feeling. It's not covered with mirrors on the wall, but the ceiling and the grandeur of it definitely is there. But in the cases here, they have all of the crown jewels of France. So what is left? A lot of them had to be, they were, they were stolen, they were sold. They've, uh, the Louvre did a really great job. Some of these things are scattered around the museum in different places, but now they're all, most of them are all together. The Coronation Crown of Napoleon is still over in the Richelieu wing, but everything else is here. But there is this little, these little beauties. I mean, I mean that they're perfect. They're not too small, they're not too big. Those are just, I mean, Yes, please. Take one in the gift shop, please. And so they moved Eugenie's jewelry from also really close to... Oh, give me all of that. Um, which used to be really close to the apartments of the Napoleon III. They've moved these over here now. That was given to Napoleon's second wife. Marie Louise. <gasps> Something's missing. I didn't do it.
Oh, and those little earrings belong to Josephine. But here's another, this I believe is the Regent. That is the Regent diamond. Which Napoleon actually used for his coronation. And what I think, one thing that's really neat that they added this time with the renovation is the boxes that actually held these things. Um, look at how amazing, like leather, velvet lined, perfectly designed and shaped. So cool. So yeah, so there you go. That is the newly renovated Galerie d'Apollon. It also has glasses, all these beautiful classes small statues this is all um, this again always read all these little things so these are all from the collection of Louis the 14th that's I love any any of those little things I just actually discovered in another room a painting that actually also belonged to Fouquet which you know is the man that's for Le Vicomte who Louis the 14th imprisoned and also took his art so, and then, what's this one, 53? That belonged to Cardinal Mazarin before Louis XIV, who some think could have been his father. So, yeah. So, this is the beautifully renovated room. I am going to take about a thousand pictures, so I'll post some of those too, um, of all of these guys. Eventually write a little story about each one of them, who they were. But there's some of the, like, there are a bunch of these uh, people all who are involved. Gustav Lesseur has great, big, huge monumental paintings, amazing paintings. He did some of the maze that used to, he did one of them that used to hang in Notre Dame. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed it.